Hey guys, if you notice this, if you Google TechRaj, my site will obviously come up in the search results and there is a small label which is attached to my site which says this site may be hacked and there is also some gibberish uh, description for this site as you can see here. Now this is actually uh, made, I mean uh, the, the label this site may be hacked is actually attached to my website in the search results by Google itself because Google detected that my site may be hacked and maybe hackers are having access to my site so in order to alert the, uh, the visitors it actually did uh, put this label for my site like this and I do appreciate Google doing that now th this actually happened one week ago or more than one week ago and I recorded my screen while I found this and uh, in this video I'm going to show you what I did when I found this did I fix it or did I not so Actually, I recorded everything I did that time so that, you know, I have a, I had a thought that maybe this might make a good video. So, yeah, I recorded the screen and I'm now giving a voiceover on what I actually did. So, if you want to know what I did and what may be the reasons for this to happen, then yeah, do watch this video until the end. And if you have a website like mine, then you should watch this because you know my all my things are updated i mean i keep my site updated and i i, I think i take enough security measures for my site but still this happened so you have to watch this video if you do have a website like mine and even if you don't have a website if you watch this video you might you, you can get awareness about what hackers can do on websites so let's get started First of all, I logged into my Google Search Console and of course I had a security issue for my website techrouse156.com. It said that uh, I'm infected by spam URL injection and uh, my page contains actually contains some URLs which I did not create but they still exist on my website. And yeah, as you could see there are some sample URLs which I did not add but they still exist. I mean this is added by hacker as per Google. So yeah, as you could see the domain is techrouse156.com which is my domain and all the rest of the link is some, some gibberish which doesn't make any sense but actually it exists. If you just go to that link as I as I'm doing here you can see it is actually being redirected to some website and then it's basically showing a spam website like this since I'm using a Mac it's 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 it I mean, I mean I've been taken to a Mac spam website but if you're on a Windows PC then obviously you'll be taken to something related to your Windows PC and yeah um, not only this website there are actually many sample URLs and you can actually uh, see there are many things like this and if I go to the second link like this as you can see it is being redirected to a website which says hitcpm.com which I think uh, is a website a spam website and yeah you can see this website I mean uh, there's another link as you could see if I go to this link this is too much. I mean, this is this looks like a porn website. Literally, there is a link on my website which is redirecting to a porn website and I have no idea about it. That's very serious issue. Like, if anyone has visited this link, then obviously they'll get a bad impression on my website because it's being taken to a very inappropriate website. And uh, yeah, my website is actually redirecting to a porn website and I have no idea about it. So yeah, that's a very serious issue. Now, if you don't know, I, am, I use WordPress as my CSM and that means I don't usually make changes with my website's code and I don't usually check my website code often because that is the whole point of using a WordPress. WordPress takes care of everything. You don't need to actually work with your website's code. WordPress uh, works with it. You just, uh, I mean, it's very easy to use WordPress. I mean, easy in the sense, easy as compared to uh, actually manually writing a code for, for your website and uh, so that means uh, obviously I will not I mean I don't have much control over my website code even though yeah of course I can make changes with my website code but usually I don't because everything is handled very well by WordPress so of course while using WordPress yeah there can be many things going wrong because WordPress is an open source program and anyone can see the source of WordPress and yeah I mean 
yeah these things can happen because there are many plugins which can be installed by uh, i mean by the user and those plugins actually contain code and when you activate the plugin on your website that code will be added to your website and that code who knows it may be malicious and who knows that might uh, make your website uh, hacked or something like that Anyways, I then installed a plugin named as Wonderfence, which is a very famous WordPress firewall and I performed a quick scan and there are some serious issues found. For example, uh, as you can see, there are uh, this is my these are my scan results and uh, you can see that here there is a file that appears, appears to be malicious, which is a header.php file, which is located in my themes folder. So let me actually view this file. This is the file. I now I'm not very much aware of PHP, but let me tell you what I understand about this code, what I understand about what this code will do. So what it basically does is it's in short, it is sending a HTTP request to a website named as, as you could see, there's a website named as F concatenated with the variable X and then concatenated with L and then again variable X and then NIUM.XYZ blah 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 and as you could see the variable X is declared as I so this URL becomes F I L I N I U M dot X Y Z slash K X slash user isn't equal to so what this basically is doing is it is sending the browsing info of the user to this website which is filenium.xyz and slash kx slash user agent equal to and then it is as you could see it's concatenating uh, server within square brackets http user agent this uh, this value server within square brackets http user agent actually contains the, the the info about which browser the user is using and which operating system he is using so it is sending all this data to a server which is located at filenium.xyz so basically it is recording all this information about the user so immediately I opened my FTP client FileZilla and I connected to my website's FTP server. And then I need to go to this directory where the malicious or let's say the infected file is located, which is located in WP content and then uh, in themes and then in DV. And here there is a file which says header.php and that is the injected file that we are looking for. So there we go, uh, header.php, that's the file we are looking for. Let me edit it, right click and view or edit. So there we go, that is the file. And then I removed all the malicious code from this file. Uh, I selected all the code and I hit delete, all the code is now gone and then I saved the file and I up uploaded the saved file back into the server, FTP server. But then of course it's not fixed yet. Uh, the pages are still being redirected to a third party website like this. So now it's time uh, that we actually fix these things. And if you actually look closely at these links, for example, if you can, if you can see second or the fourth link here, it says techraj156.com slash xb4c, which should be the name of a file or a folder. So this xb4c must be some file or a folder. And this link is referring to that file or folder. And since that file or the folder exists on the FTP server, this is actually working. It is being redirected. So let's go to the FTP server and let's see if we find any malicious or suspicious files or folders in the FTP server. So I did find two malicious folders in my FTP server and both of these folders are containing many PHP files and of course those PHP files are all the spam pages that we are looking at. So now right now I'm actually deleting these two folders. Of course it takes a little bit of time to delete these two folders because they contain literally a lot of PHP files. So yeah, let me pay, let's be patient and wait for these files to be deleted and vanished off from the FTP server. And I also found another such folder named as 4LFQ, which is also containing many PHP files uh, that contain the spam content and those are responsible for these uh, these uh, spam URLs on my websites. So yeah, let me uh, actually uh, delete this folder as well.
And guess what? I found another, another folder, B08L. This time it's hiding in my WB content uploads folder. It also contains literally many, many, um, um, I mean, uh, PHP files, the spam content files. And uh, of course, I have to delete this as well. Literally, guys, there is so much spam content on my website. And I realized it just now. Let me delete it anyways. Right now, all the malicious folders and files are deleted from the server. Let's go back uh, to the search console. There we go. And let's uh, test these sample URLs, whether they're still valid or not. Let's uh, start with the last URL over here. Let's go to this URL. And no results found, which means this URL is no longer valid. Let's test uh, this one over here. And let's hope this is not valid as well. Yeah, this is not valid as well. And let's look at this one, this URL. Oh, literally, this is still being redirected to some other website. So I am pretty sure that I removed all these spam folders and spam uh, files from my FTP server, but still uh, uh, some of these URLs are still valid and they're still being redirected to some third party websites. So I think this is uh, the problem due to my WordPress catch. Maybe my WordPress, uh, my WordPress server catched all these links. So that is why I think uh, still some of these links are uh, still valid. So I went back to my WordPress dashboard to uh, flush my catch. So I'm going to flush my catch now. There we go. Let's just wait. And yep, uh, the catch is now cleared. Now let's go back to the search console and see if the problem is fixed. Let me go to this link and there we go. It's no longer valid, which means the problem is now fixed as we cleared the catch. So that's it. We fixed the, uh, the spam URL injection on my website. Thank you guys for helping me out. So then I sent a request to Google to recheck my website saying that I now fixed all the spam URL things on my website. So let's hope Google removes the label which says uh, this site may be hacked as soon as possible from my website in the Google search results. Right, uh, so let's think of the reasons for why this happened. The first reason I'm thinking about is because my WordPress might not be updated. So of course, uh, uh, you know, WordPress keeps on uh, releasing updates because uh, when it finds some bug in its, in its, uh, in its uh, current version, it fixes that bug and it actually updates. I mean, it releases a new update of WordPress. So in the new update, this bug or the vulnerability will be fixed. So so it may be because my WordPress might not be updated and my WordPress might be vulnerable to some kind of some kind of vulnerability. And that is one reason I'm thinking of. And the second reason I'm thinking of is because I might have installed some malicious plugin and I might have activated that plugin on my website, which which might have caused this. And the third thing is it might also be because of the uh, theme, the WordPress theme I'm using. I mean, themes also are vulnerable and hackers can actually find vulnerabilities in a theme and once they find a vulnerability in a theme they can actually attack a website which uses the same theme they can make use of this vulnerability and they can attack websites by using this vulnerability so that might be one of the reason so these are the three reasons I can think of right now which might be the reason for this problem right um, so yeah let me google my name uh, now and uh, there we go uh, the label is removed from my site now and it took Google one week to review my site and yes it did remove the uh, the label which says that this site may be hacked from my website and that's good to know. Yep, uh, so that is it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up below and if you have any doubts regarding this, feel free to use the comment section below and also do subscribe for more awesome videos. Thanks for watching once again. Cheers.